Uh, hello and welcome to the uh, Captain Quick Start Guides. This is going to be my guide to uh, setting up the uh, my Captain AI system. So I'm assuming you already have basic knowledge of Unity for this tutorial. So if you want um, to find like basic stuff on how to set up Unity, there's lots of videos online. You can check some of them out. Uh, so yes, this is the project we'll be starting with to save some time. Uh, we've got a nice obstacle course for our agents to uh, fly about. So we got some nice unity terrain here. And then we got some random obstacles I've spread around. So yeah, that's very nice. And then we also have, this is it's going to be important later, we've got this simple mouse click script, which I've attached to the camera. It's a very basic script. Shouldn't take too long to make yourself, but if you need to, you can copy it. So basically, just when mouse click, when it was clicked, it'll raycast and it'll find the terrain. And yeah, it'll use that and it'll do something in that position. So later we're going to set this up to command an AI agent to travel to this point. But right now it'll just log it. So if we go to the scene and click play. Wait for it to load. Lovely. We can just click and then you can see that it'll show the coordinates of where we clicked. So yeah, very simple. That's the that's the sort of the prerequisites of this project. Right, so the first step for this project is going to be importing the package uh, for Captain. Uh, uh, in your case, this would be uh, getting it from the asset store and importing it, but I haven't set that up yet, so I'm just going to be importing it from my drive. So, package manager, obviously you'd use the asset store window here, but I can just import custom package. Um, there we go. Late. So, yeah, it's doing its thing. Right, so here we have all the folders in... Captain. Uh, so here's, yeah, here's all the, it's based on the goal or an extra planning algorithm, that's why it's called that. So we have um, all the aircraft associated files, we've got all the base ones, so this is just the actual action planning base algorithm. And then these are all the example assets which we're interested. I wouldn't recommend including these in your um, final game, but um, for this, this is what we're going to be using. Uh, so we can import this, and then we'll wait a while for that to happen. Uh, right, so, yes, here we are. Here we have uh, my folder. That's my name, Cheese. Uh, so then we have the goal oriented action planning. <clears throat> and then we've got our examples. So if we go to scenes, we can check out one of these example scenes. Uh, yeah, here we go. This is the example scene. I'll make this available on my itch at some point, but it's not there right now. By the time I upload this video, it should be. Um, so yeah, we can just start this up, and you can see we can switch for a bunch of vehicles that I've set up already, and we can click Start Action, and then we can command it to fly somewhere. And it'll use the uh, the action planning algorithm, so we turn Show Planning on. You can see this blue path is places that it's considered to fly, and then, yeah, it's generated a flight path, and it'll, it'll just fly along. And then, obviously, we can we can create a new action and we can adjust it in real time, and it'll it'll replan. And it's all it's all very nice and powerful. So yeah, we can see here that um, it will actually fly under this bridge, which most video game helicopters don't do, because usually they'll tend to make it fly over you know whatever obstacles are in its path. But here, uh, thanks to my fancy action planning algorithm, we can actually fly under this bridge to avoid it instead of going over. Uh, so yeah. So yes, if you're the sort of person who likes learning by reverse engineering things, which I typically tend to, this is you can poke around the scene and you can you can work out how all of this works. Uh, so yeah, it's a good place to work out how the system works if you need to. Right, so back to the scene from earlier. We're gonna set this up so that we can have one of those uh, helicopter agents I set up flying around in this scene. Uh, without all the all the fancy demo scripts I set up. So we're going to go into uh, Cheese, Gope, and then the base assets. This is the base singleton that manages all of the uh, pathfinding. So we can see it's got some settings here. We've got the uh, max search depth, which is basically how many um, states it will look at before like picking the best one, and that'll be the path it uses. And then we also have how many uh, states it should search per frame. Uh, so you can adjust that if, if it's taking too long, if you need a really high search depth. I don't recommend a really high search depth. Uh, this one's it's quite arbitrary I picked. I find that you can get pretty good results at just 100. 
uh, such depth, so you know you might want to experiment with that. Uh, and yeah, you can adjust this to control how quickly it searches. So basically, internally, this has like a big queue of uh, all the requests for paths, and it'll it'll just complete them as fast as possible. And it's got some nice uh, gizmos here, so you can turn these on, and you can see um, you can see when it's where it's uh, considered going, and then like the completed path as well. So these are like um, A star path endings. So open nodes are things it knows, are like future states it could explore, and closed nodes are states it's already explored, so it knows what would happen if it explores those. The next step is going to be setting up layers on this project. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go here, and we're going to go add layer, and we're going to have one for terrain, and we're going to have another one for the actual uh, flying agents. Uh, you can call these whenever you want. You can set them up. There's no like specific thing, but the most important fact is that the agents should have their own layer. Uh, this is because it uses uh, the ray casts or sphere casts to uh, detect the environment, and uh, obviously it needs to be in a separate layer so that it doesn't see itself, because otherwise it'll see itself as an obstacle and it won't be able to generate any paths. Uh, so next you want to go to uh, the map, and we're going to set this to our terrain layer. Yes, change children, thank you. Uh, and then we're going to drag in one of the example agents I have. So we're going to go to prefabs, we're going to go to vehicles, and we're going to use this uh, nice super hind. There we go, let's just drag that off the ground. We'll spawn in the air, somewhere where our camera can see. So no, we can't be seen there. So let's move it over there-ish, maybe up a bit. There we go, so now, now we're in view. Um, right. So yeah, we'll want to change the layer, so we'll change it to Agents, yes, change Children, there we go, lovely. We don't need these demo scripts, these are just like to help control with the UI, so we'll remove those. Um, you might, if you, obviously if you're using this properly, you're not making you prefab, but we'll just use this prefab for now. Um, so yeah, here we have all the scripts that control the physics, we have this one that controls, this is like the autopilot script, so... This is the actual like agent that follows the path. So it'll request a path when we tell it to, and then it will give a target velocity to the demo helicopter pilot. And then this is basically an autopilot that will try and match that target velocity. And that's that's pretty much how it works. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our uh, simple mouse click script, and we're going to set it up so that when we click, it'll command our uh, AI helicopter agent to wherever we clicked. So what we do, this is pretty simple. We just go in here. We go using uh, cheese.gulp, so that's the, uh, the goal action planning namespace, and then we can do public uh, gulp driver, and then this will be driver. Um, so then this will this will be the agent that controls our helicopter, and it's it's using inheritance. This is just the base class. We could be more specific if we wanted to control like specifically a helicopter, but this will control all types of go agents. There's no problem with this. So we'll just go down here. And we'll go driver dot uh, go to position, and then we will pass the position. And then this is pretty simple. It'll it'll go to that position, and it will use the default goal. Uh, so, because obviously this is a goal-oriented action planning based system, uh, you can supply different goals and that will uh, do different things. So, this is the default move goal that's assigned to the prefab. This one is move to position and then AH, which I, it stands for attack helicopter. Uh, so, what this one does is this will give a reward for moving closer to the position, the target position, and it will also give a reward for being at a low altitude. So, um, if it follows along the terrain, it gets a high reward, so it'll try and do that when it's making a path. Uh, right, so, with a bit of luck, that should be everything, so we can start the thing now. Of late, we can see our helicopter as its rotor is spinning, so if we click... Ah, my bad. There we go, we forgot to assign. Classic blunder, we forgot to assign the uh, helicopter on the simple mouse click. Right, let's try that again. Uh, late. Right, so we can click. Ooh. Mm, interesting. Okay, right. Let us check that out. Ah, I think I know what I've done wrong. Right, so, yeah, so we can see um, the debug settings. We can see it wasn't generating a path because we had the gizmos turned on. Yeah, so it's created a single node here. And basically what it's done is it's seen that it's been blocked by itself. 
uh, and it's it's not going anywhere. So what we actually need to do is change the layers here. Yes, there we go. There's our problem. So it was yeah, the layer masks were set up wrong. So it should be blocked by default, which is just anything that doesn't have a layer assigned. So if I forgot to do something, that might be nice. And then the terrain, which is obviously this big terrain section here. Uh, there we go. So now, save that again, and start it again. And now it shouldn't see itself and be blocked by itself. Um, so yeah, if we click here, there we go, we can see it's planned a lovely path. So the red things are places it could consider, the green places are things it can consider. You can see here, obviously it bumped into this obstacle a lot, and it was like, nope, we can't go that way, so it went around. And then, yeah, it's pretty simple. And you can see, off it goes. So, yeah, pretty simple system uh, to set up with these agents. So, yeah. Obviously, I do recommend turning these gizmos off when you're not using them, because they are quite expensive to draw. So, yeah, you can see that, and now the frame rate's all nice and smooth again. And you can see helicopter terrain following, and it's moving towards its goal. And I can click, and it'll, it'll make a new path to follow that. And you get, like, this very, very nice, very nice flying behavior. <laughs> 